Jesus' name is I come before thee. I praise, worship, magnify, and adore thee. Lord God of hosts, we the name of heaven and earth. I magnify the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, heaven and Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, as I come before thee, I rejoice in you, Lord God, the Lord God of my salvation. This day, heaven and Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you right now. I rejoice in your goodness. I rejoice in your love. I rejoice in your power and in your might. Father, I worship you right now in the beauty of hope. Holiness. Father, I magnify you because thou art a righteous and holy God. Thou art a good God, heaven and Father, that bestowed blessings upon your people daily. Daily we are lonely with benefits, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Heaven and Father, as I come before thee, I thank you, I praise thee. I worship and I adore you. Heavenly Father, as I come before thee right now, I stand in the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I operate from heavenly places right now, seated, O oh God. Heavenly Father, O oh God, by with Lord Jesus Christ, by your side, I operate, O oh Father, from the heavenly realm, because you said we are seated in heavenly places in Christ. Father, right now, I operate by the authority that's given, O oh God, Heavenly Father, to revolt those who are seated at the right hand of the Father. Now I exercise that authority through and in by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ by the name that you've given that's above every name I declare that truly demons tremble at that name but heaven and father not only do they tremble by the power of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ now what right now I immobilize the kingdom of darkness I put them under my feet right now and oh God and command that they become a part of the footstool of the Lord Jesus Christ heaven and father in Jesus name I put a how to every Miranda victorium oh God of Lucifer in the kingdom of darkness I put a halt to his dark work right now oh God never a father anything oh God that opposed the will of God father in the name of Jesus Christ any mandate any decree Lord God of hosts never a father that's against the purpose of the Almighty God father I put a halt to right now in the name of Jesus Christ and I superimpose oh God never a father your divine purpose and your divine will oh God never a father now in the lives of the people of God in the mighty name of of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I declare and I decree that by your anointing, O God, chains, bondages, and fetters will be destroyed and broken, O God, in the lives of the people of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the power of your anointing will break yokes, O God, and generational curses in the name of Jesus Christ. Be they psychological, physical, O God. May, O God, be they, O God, never a Father, Jesus' name, I pray, O God, in the heart, in the mind, pass through, through the DNA, O God, never a father into the system of oh God human beings right now I curse them by the power and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ I pray that the anointing of the Lord God of hosts right now in Jesus name will break every chain of Lucifer Lord God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I command every chain that Satan have around the people of God that ties oh God them to himself I command to be broken 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 especially through generational curses oh God is through bloodline and soul ties in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I serve every soul tie right now by the power and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, creator of heaven and earth, I speak deliverance to the people of God. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ every evil deposit of the enemy into the hearts and the minds of the people of God that cause us to have divided loyalties. Oh God, never a father towards God and towards your kingdom who causes us to serve you, oh God, look with lukewarmness who causes us, oh God, to love this world more than we love you father in Jesus name I erase by the power and the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ father by your spirit give us a heart of loyalty unto you and unto your kingdom give us a heart oh God never the father in spirit and in truth father may we walk in holiness and righteousness because you said in your word that without oh God never the father oh God holiness no man shall see you Lord God of hosts may we not just seek you for things but may we seek you Lord God of hosts may we not just seek you for possessions but may we look oh God never the father towards the kingdom of God father with our whole hearts our minds and our souls may we turn our hearts towards you and not just our faces father in the name of Jesus Christ you that live it, that read it, that know the very hearts, the very thoughts and intents of mankind, Lord God. I pray right now 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray right now in Jesus' name that your people will be of one heart and one mind and one spirit through the power of your word, O oh Lord God of hosts, and through the power of the blood of the cross of Calvary. Father, I pray right now that we will know, O oh God, by the power of the Almighty God, we can walk in holiness and righteousness. We can serve you in spirit and in truth and attain unto your kingdom. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, may we not serve you on our terms, O oh God, but may we realize that we must serve you on your terms because you are the Almighty that created us, because in you we live, we move, and we have our being. O oh Lord God of hosts, cause your people to understand your might and your power, your holiness and your righteousness, that, O oh God, without you we truly can do nothing, O oh God. Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves under your mighty hand that you said in your word, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Christ. Father, capture us for your glory. Capture our lives for your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Through your power and through your might. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. People of God, I just like to say, you know, sometimes we have to realize that we want to serve God on our terms. We do not get salvation on our terms. If you are to make it into the kingdom of God, the word of God says that with holiness, no man can see God. People of God, it's impossible that the blood of Jesus Christ cannot sin, cannot keep you, cannot keep you holy. God is the Almighty. Once you surrender your life and your soul, you know, people of God, when you pray over yourself, you need to command and command any chain that Satan used to tie it onto yourself, command it to be broken, broken, broken by the power that's in the name of Jesus. Any chain that Satan have tied around your will that causes you not to obey God, command it to be broken by the power that's in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus gave us power, the castle devils. I tell you people of God, we think the devil is in the next person, but if you find in your life that you cannot serve God in holiness and in righteousness, there's a demon that's in, in your life that has a stronghold that you through the power of the Almighty God has the right and the ability once you've already accepted the Lord Jesus Christ to cast it out in his spirit every evil deposit into your mind and into your spirit by the enemy by Lucifer that causes us to have divided loyalties to God cast out rebuke it out of you command it to come out and wash it out and flush it out by the power of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ people of God once we learn that we have power and authority that we don't have to be in bondage to sin that the cross of Calvary is strong and mighty that the blood of Jesus Christ has the power to deliver you when you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior you have power and authority to walk according to his word to live in holiness do not think that God will drop his standing either you come up to his standing God said in his word and God is a God that cannot lie he said without holiness he will never see his face so people of God stop all the complaining stop all the excuses stop saying well you know God knows yes he know but God also know the power that he's put in the blood of Jesus Christ and the cross of Calvary that if you really want to walk in obedience he'll give you power to do that people of God I trust this day that you will be strengthened you will be encouraged strive after holiness strive after God pick up each day your cross and the follow the side to follow Jesus like he said in his word God bless you people of God be encouraged this day amen